If you have a Google Pixel smartphone, then over the last couple of months you may have noticed the quality of your videos being played on streaming applications such as Netflix or Amazon Prime have degraded in quality. Specifically, they're only able to play at, say, 480p. Then this is likely due to an over-the-air update that Google sent out that has broken its own Widevine DRM support. Over the last couple of days, this topic has gotten fairly popular in a couple of subreddits, but this is actually an issue that many people started seeing back in February. And right now I'm seeing people are experiencing this who own the Pixel 5, the Pixel 4, the Pixel 4 XL, and the Pixel 4a. Now this could imp be impacting other Google Pixel devices, but it's definitely something that you're going to want to check. And not only am I going to show you how to check that today, I'm going to be showing you how I fixed this issue while also offering a number of other suggestions for people to try. So even if you haven't recognized this issue or noticed this issue lately, it's something that if you own a Google Pixel device, I definitely recommend you download the DRM Info application from the Play Store. It's just a simple free app that when we, can, when we open it up, we get a lot of information about our device but we can scroll down to the bottom, look in the Widevine CDM section, and get some information about what level of DRM support your device currently supports. So you can see right here, my Google Pixel 4a at this time supports L1 Widevine DRM, meaning that if I were to watch uh, Amazon videos or Netflix or any other streaming applications that require Widevine L1 DRM support, then I will be able to get full HD. However, as you can see here, a recent over-the-air update that Google has pushed out has seemingly broken this issue or this DRM level as they're now noticing, again, when watching Netflix videos, they're only able to get 480p quality. And that's because when they look at that DRM Info app, their device is only supporting Widevine level three, not level one. And this is actually something that my device was affected by as of yesterday. So yesterday when I read this issue I wanted to get the phone because this has been uh, locked for a long time. I wanted to grab the device and check to find out if my device was experiencing that issue. And it was. Even though I'm sitting at level one now, this is a screenshot that I took yesterday afternoon right before I installed the latest over-the-air update for my device. So as you can see here, yesterday I took a screenshot showing that that exact same application was only showing my device supporting L3. And just as I said, I installed the latest over-the-air update However, I know a lot of people have done this as well, and it has not fixed the issue. I can only recommend what has fixed it for me. Now, I will say this device is not running Android 11. This is running the Android 12 developer preview, and it is on the latest April security update. Now this fix being included in an over-the-air update is something Google has been telling users since that February post. 
There's a comment in here talking about how they were told the uh, the fix would be included in the March over there update. However, again, still in as of yesterday, many people, even after the April over there update, are still experiencing L3. Even with that, there are a number of people who are also saying they specifically installed the Android 12 developer preview in order to attempt to fix this issue. So while I can't tell you installing the Android 12 developer preview will fix this issue for you, I can tell you it fixed the issue for me. The April over the air update for the developer preview build fixed that issue for me. With that said, there's likely a bigger underlying issue here that has broken the Widevine DRM issue, the system on Google Pixel phones. I'm going to be including this thread as well as the actual pixel support thread links in the video description so that anybody who's also experiencing this issue can read through the comments find out what they have tried because a lot of people have tried doing a factory data reset to fix the issue that's why i'm not recommending it in this video because people have said doing a factory data reset did not fix the issue for them it's the same reason why I'm not recommending you unlock the bootloader and download a fresh version of the firmware to manually flash it yourself because others have said they have done the same and it did not fix it. It's certainly a troubleshooting step that I would do if I were in your uh, shoes. But since the latest over the air update fixed it for me, I can't test those different steps personally, so I can't recommend them in this video. So that's what's currently going on with Google Pixel smartphones, Netflix and Amazon videos, and the latest Widevine DRM issue.